My name is Dan Roosgaarde. Um, I'm not even a designer, I'm a reformer. So I'm a hippie with a business plan in a way and I want to update reality. Uh, uh, based in the Netherlands and in Shanghai. And, and right now we're here in Cape Town for a great design conference and sort of uh, exchanging ideas and, and figuring out what's meaningful in a, in a time like this. So excited to be here. As a designer, I'm fascinated with sort of merging the worlds of imagination and innovation into one. So we've been working on a series of these kind of interactive designs. One of our most recent projects, Indeed the Smart Highway, in which we say, why is design always focused on this notion of cars, eh? on, on how they look like, how they behave, and not on the roads, which determine our landscape much, much more. And so we started to imagine, can we not make them more interactive, more sustainable? And uh, one of the, the things we're working on now, which got a lot of uh, attention in that way, is glowing lines, sort of developing photoluminescent uh, paint, which charge at daytime and give light at night, so you can skip away a lot of the street lights and electricity and things like that, and get these really cool matrix-like uh, uh, shapes uh, on the road. We've been working with paints which can change in color based on temperature, and sort of literally adding this to the road. So the moment the road starts to freeze, eh, get slippery, these huge snow flocks appear. And when the sun comes up again, they disappear again. And one other feature indeed is a um, sort of priority lane for electrical cars, which automatically charges the electrical cars as you are driving uh, on it, giving it literally priority. And, and so it's, it's not just about technology, it's also about you know, showing that it's a new way of thinking, an ideology in a way. Uh, uh, so you have to connect it to lifestyle, uh, the way ex people experience that design in a way. Yeah. For me it's really about making these kind of landscape possible, because everything happens there. We teamed up with a huge road manufacturer in Europe, uh, Heimans uh, Infrastructure. We made a deal for three years, uh, a paid deal uh, to work together to make this happen, launching the first 300 meters and this year in the Netherlands, in Brabant. So it's, it, it, it's out there. I think that's the role of the designer, to create new niches in a way, uh, to create missing links uh, between this old failing world and the new world, and uh, the, mar the market will follow. Yeah. Intimacy is a project we started, I think, 12, 14 months ago, in which we said, okay, technology is our second skin, eh, our second language, in the way we communicate our experience, our information. But why are we looking at these bloody iPhone screen the whole day, you know? Can it not be more tactile, more intuitive? And so we started to make, indeed, dresses as a real, as a second skin, which can change in transparency based on how, um, uh, 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 how do you say it? How excited you are, uh, connected to the heartbeat of the wearer. The more excited she becomes, the more transparent the dress. And right now we're also working on a, on a suit for men, especially for the banking world, uh, which becomes transparent when they lie. Let's see how reality looks like then in a couple of years.